Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car guys with uh, uh, gasoline or diesel engine and you want to know what are the symptoms of cracked cylinder heads. Stay with us, we'll explain that today. And uh, what can actually, okay, what you can expect, what will happen and all that stuff and how we can prevent even more damage to your engine. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get to the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this is an engine out of a hyundai but most gasoline diesel engines will function that way so let's explain now about okay about uh, cracked cylinder head. This is your cylinder head guys, it's on top of the engine block. Between the cylinder head and the engine block you have a head gasket. The purpose of the head gasket is to make sure that the compression stays in the cylinder and doesn't go to the combustion chamber. Also the coolant stays in the coolant, uh, in the coolant passage, it doesn't go anywhere else and oil and coolant don't mix as well. So make sure oil goes down to the oil pan. So three things that the gasket does. But now the cylinder head is exposed to those three things as well. Compression happens, okay, in the combustion chamber, right here. Oil goes from uh, on top of the cylinder head, through the cylinder head, and then in the engine block. And it has coolant everywhere around the cylinder head to cool it as well. So, symptoms of cracked cylinder head will be very similar, almost the same, like blown head gasket. So, sometimes it's really hard to tell which is exactly which. So, one thing that you can expect, guys, okay, will be overheating. If you have a cracked cylinder head, you can expect overheating due to the fact that, okay, hot air from the combustion chamber can make its way in the cylinder head. You will be pumping hot air, so that will overheat your engine. You can notice bubbles in the cooling, uh, coolant reservoir and hard um, uh, uh, radiator hose, quite a bit of pressure in the radiator hose. Number two, heater may quit working as well because you will develop uh, an air pocket that will prevent heater uh, uh, coolant from flowing through. Number three, you may be, okay, you may notice that coolant will come out of the overflow bottle. This is due to the fact that the car will be overheating, putting hot air in it and uh, coolant will bubble up and it may leak coolant. Number four, you may be losing coolant. In some cases, you may be losing coolant through the, uh, um, the cracked head to go in the cylinders and burn it through the exhaust. Another thing, you may notice white smoke coming out of the exhaust as well, due to the fact that burning coolant can cause, guys, okay, can cause uh, that white smoke and that sweetie smell coming out of the exhaust as well. Next, you may experience where you mix coolant and oil because of the cracked cylinder head as well. You pull your dipstick, you see that milkish color, and uh, you notice that you actually have, guys, okay, uh, uh, coolant in the oil. That's what could happen as well, but the same things almost can happen with bad head gasket. Now, something else, you may notice that you have a misfire, because let's say you have a coolant, internal coolant leak and drops in the cylinder, that will make the spark plug wet. When the spark plug is wet, it will not ignite, so you, you may have a misfire on certain cylinders. Also, I would recommend to check, okay, well, compression on your cylinders as well. But in some cases, it's really hard to find out if you have a cracked cylinder head, but those are the most common symptoms that usually are almost the same as the one having a blown head gasket. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.